Good morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for Monday's trading session, the 20th of March 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the uh, the actual uh, app at the uh, Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so we're uh, bringing you the uh, actual numbers for European session and giving you a morning rundown. Asian markets certainly finished slightly weaker overnight. You have the Nikkei down 68 points, whilst the Shanghai actually finished 0.4%, and the Hang Seng up 0.8. So it was mainly the uh, the Nikkei that was certainly negative. Now, the reason why uh, the bias certainly was negative in uh, in Asia, or predominantly with the Sensex and Singapore down as well, was due to uh, protectionist fears. Now, the G20 communique failed to uh, talk down the uh, prospect of a, uh, a potential uh, free trade zone, okay, and uh, certainly didn't even stop short in terms of uh, of actually criticising protectionism either. So that certainly is, doesn't bode well going forward. So, uh, as we all know, protectionism uh, generally indicates trade wars, tariffs, etc. And initially, uh, it obviously, uh, eventually, it leads to uh, growth is certainly slowing down and that's certainly negative for commodities and negative for equities in general okay so that certainly is the major concern now the other factors at play as well is uh, mr priya mr nowotny's hawkish comments in terms of talking up rates in the eurozone again that's net net negative with the tapering obviously uh, taking fold uh, also with regards to trump's uh, bearish comments or negative comments on germany as well talking uh, stating that uh, it has a trade surplus it certainly is taking advantage and it's exploiting the U.S. partners. Okay, now the shale uh, also uh, news with regards to shale and oil supply data. The shale industry certainly is growing. Uh, the production is growing, and therefore, obviously, it's squeezing the uh, oil suppliers or uh, the actual oil price itself. Excess supply indicates lower oil price. So again, commodities under under pressure. Also, there was an article from Reuters with regards to China protectionist stance. Uh, China's preparing a uh, retaliatory measures with regards to Trump's uh, obviously trade barriers on China and obviously it will retaliate in terms of agriculture etc etc and again that's net net negative same concept protectionist fears okay protectionism trade barriers etc this is all negative for growth and negative for uh, global equities EU labor costs certainly increasing again increasing the uh, uh, probability of a rate hike given the fact that inflation obviously is starting to increase now uh, French debate tonight. The uh, French are are certainly uh, debating tonight. The the five politicians certainly arguing for. Given the fact, also we had the terror concerns in France over the weekend as well. So security and immigration certainly to two major factors in terms of obviously uh, dictating the debate. And if that's the case, then we all know Miss Le Pen certainly wants to exploit that. And again, uh, she could certainly win over supporters, and that's net net negative for the eurozone even though we've overcome the Dutch election. ECB, Visco and German uh, Wiseman this morning again talking down any future QE, talking up interest rates, and that certainly is net net negative for European equities. Okay, so that certainly seems to be the uh, status quo in terms. It's currently almost at 12 o'clock now in Europe. You have the FTSE down 15 points, the DAX down 40 points, the CAC down 40, 15 points. FTSE mid, basically all European equities are across the board are certainly down. On the back of a one stronger euro, stronger sterling, okay, and on the back of and the hawkish comments from the BOE and the ECB. Now let's look at the actual market from a technical picture. Now let's bring up the German DAX, okay. So let's go to the daily chart. The German DAX, we have this rising contracting wedge pattern again. Certainly is bearish. 60-minute chart, you have this HNS formation that's in play. Uh, given the fact that we've actually held that uh, right shoulder, okay, at Fib 61%, therefore looking for risk aversion. 10 minute chart, the, uh, the German DAX still hasn't closed the gap at 12.010. Certainly expecting that gap to close. Okay, so watch out for gap fill below in terms of the German DAX. Looking at the French CAC now, let's go to the French CAC. Let's go to the daily chart. Daily chart at the moment, you have the unfilled gap below. Uh, it's all about double top, a potential double top scenario as well. 60 minute chart, you have the HS formation, very similar to the German DAX, looking for a bearish pattern with the gap filled below. 10 minute chart, again, you're looking at testing the highs of the day. We did actually just test the lows of the day at 5003 before we reverse quite sharply, okay, on the French CAC. If we do continue to go higher, you have gap fill above at 5030. You have this key diagonal trend line as well, 
So let's see how this market unfolds. Ideally, your target is 4985 below at gap fill. So watch out for gap fill below, folks, okay, in terms of the market. Looking at the FTSE 100 now, again, you have this H&S formation and 10-minute chart, so watch out for that. Daily chart at the moment, you certainly are holding that Friday's doji candle and therefore looking for a potential move lower, so watch out below. 60-minute uh, chart, you have the double top at 7445. Next potential move is going to be lower, looking to test uh, 7390 and uh, below and it's all about that H&S formation on the 10 minute chart now we have had news with regards to article 50 being triggered on the 29th of March again anything uh, what, what is the market reaction I don't know have we had a uh, a, a uh, exit from the eurozone before no we haven't uh, do we know how the market will react no we don't okay so it's a learning curve okay it's all about uh, being a learning curve on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.